Hey folks, today we're looking at all of the audio kit effects, at least most of them. And let me tell you, there are a lot. So in case you don't know, audio kit is an open source framework for making iOS instrument apps. Well, not just instrument apps, but that's primarily what I use it for. And one of the cool things about it is that it comes with so many different effects that you can add to your sound to make it much more better. So here's a list of them that we'll go through that are from the audio kit package and also the sound pipe package. We have different effects here. We have distortion, reverb, filters, and some extras that are not included in the cookbook, but they are in the Swift packages. All right, so if you're familiar with the cookbook, what I'm using is the instrument EXS example. And all I've done is I've added an effect, which we have here. I'm setting our effect. I'm passing our instrument to it. Then I'm passing our instrument to our engine's output. I also have a dry wet mix so that I can mix between the instrument and the effect. And I also put a peak limiter at the end. That way it's just not gonna make anything clip while I'm recording this. To play everything, I've set up a MIDI listener and I'll be playing with my MIDI keyboard. And the instrument I'm playing is a DX7 style piano patch. So with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's it. Hopefully that was helpful hearing most of the effects you have available with AudioKit. Like I said before, many of these are available through Soundpipe AudioKit or the regular AudioKit Swift packages. In the Apple sampler I'm using, you also have access to ADSR controls, LFOs, and a low-pass filter per note. And you can route those in multiple configurations, so those are even more ways that you can shape your sound in addition to these effects. Thanks for watching the video, and let me know down in the comments which of these effects you liked best. I'll put a video up now showing how to get started with adding these effects to an Apple sampler instrument. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, that was a lot. Too many filters. Hmm, Butterworth.